thought I'd like to show you these. This is a homemade, college-made protactinium generator. They cost a few hundred pounds each to buy normally, but we made these for less than five pounds all in, so we have a class set of them, which we use for half-life experiments with A-level students. Quite simple to make if you follow the instructions on the Cleops recipe card 57. Consists of nitric acid at the bottom, which contains uranium nitrate, and an organic solvent, amyl acetate, which smells of pear drops. I believe chemists call it ethyl ethanoate nowadays, just to be awkward. When you shake it, the protactinium dissolves in the organic layer, and with a suitable practical setup, students can measure the decay. The half life is around about 70 seconds, so they can construct a um, nice decay curve in a 15 20 minute practical until the decay drops to below or close to background count. The uranium nitrate we bought from a lab supplier, Tab Labs, but I think lots of people sell it, where it's used for staining microscope slides. It also looks nice. It's bright yellow and fluoresces beautifully under ultraviolet light. So you can talk about colouring glass. We used to mine uranium in the UK for that purpose. You can also buy uranium glass. These are marbles I bought on eBay for nothing much. Uranium glass contains about 2% uranium dioxide and was popular in the 1930s for its green colour where it was called Vaseline glass. But again, if your torch works, it fluoresces nicely under UV. Production was stopped in the 1940s because of the bomb projects and also I believe because the, the uranium was used to harden steel for gun barrels. Anyway, there we go. Protect team generators costing less than a fiver all in. Perfectly safe, perfectly kosher and well worth having for A-level classes. Thank you.